to take a lead. There he has it, 18-17. We got 11 seconds left in this first quarter. There's Reggie. Reggie with the deep three. Oh my goodness! And just like I said, Reggie Williams is starting to find his place on this new roster for him, for the Vaughn Voyagers. He gives him a 21-17 lead after one. He can flat out ball. I mean, there's nobody that could say anything negative about the kid. He's he's good for the team. He's, he's good energy. People pick up off of him and he can make big shots like that. Where do you see Reggie Williams' level uh, reaching uh, to the next level? I mean, if we're projecting, I see him somewhere, you know, high level U sports. Uh, he, he could mess around and pick up some low division, low division one interest, but I think he's, he's far from that right now. He's got to put in more work, obviously, and many of them do. 21-17 is your score. This is the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. The bronze medal game. We'll be right back. Please stay tuned. Welcome back. Second quarter action. The Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. We have the bronze medal game. The Thornley Thunder in black taking on Vaughn Voyagers in gray. Bounces out for Telfor, but there's Brooks with the rebound. Dunn takes the feed from Dawkins, number three. Look at that hustle right there. Alonzo, oh, oh, oh boy! Telfort trying to make posters out here. Just missed on that cram. Here is Reggie. Williams takes the screen. Brooks wants that three. He can shoot that. Oh, that was, I mean, what is there not to like about Ryan Brooks? Just a very efficient player overall. I don't know how you can not like him, and I don't know how you can not recruit him. Every school in the country should be on this kid. And he's such a good guy. You know, he he's not out there causing trouble. He's just playing basketball. Uh, Beal on the corner, in and out. Oh, look at that. Nice play. That was Mateo Gomez. Here comes Brooks right through traffic. Traveling. That might have been forced a bit. Nothing there. Got a little happy trying to play some PG there. Trying to show another. Maybe he could do more. Well, you're saying the coach has got to get on him, so <laughs> he wants to show him what he could do. Maybe he heard me. <laughs> Probably did. 24-17 is your score. The Thornley Thunder looking to get the third place chip. Here's Telfor, nice matchup there. Oh, shot's not good there. That one was Ziffian Grant. Oh, that looked like three steps or nine steps. Oh, look at Brooks. Good catch by Beal. 
Off his leg. Yep, off his leg. You can see that one. Everybody going crazy right now. Everybody wants to be a point guard all over the place. Here's Latif to Williams. Williams with the Hezzy. Gets Brooks inside. Look at that. Brooks. Oh, that's going to be over the back. That's going to be over the back. That's going to be on Calvin C.J. Lofters. Over the back there. A little frenetic pace right now. Both teams getting a little excited. They got to calm down out here. And Brooks is, Brooks is having some dialogue with the ref. He's unhappy with the fact that that they didn't that they didn't call anything on him and because he's so big and so strong sometimes the refs just feel like they shouldn't but he gets hacked quite a bit yeah he's looking for that call didn't get it there here's Telfor coming up top remember they're missing their big gun Keyshawn Bartholomew just had a chance to say hi to him over there he said uh, he'll be back soon yeah he's expecting I think one to two weeks and here's Brooks again lacing up for three I'm, I'm very eager to see the percentages on this guy's shooting. You know, no wasted motion, no wasted opportunities. He's very efficient, as you pointed out. I think I think we got to move him up in the rankings. I might have disrespected him a little bit on this. Oh, there's some. There's your guy. Deal. <laughs> I'm telling you, the best is yet to come from him. Well, he's young, as you said. 2020. So I mean, he's got a couple years to really put it all together and get confident. I think I was talking about this while I was having dinner. Thou's coming from Alberta. In Alberta, the level of competition is not as high, not even close to as high as it is in Ontario. So in that Orangeville game, you saw him go a little ghost, a little quiet. He's just starting to see and, in, and embrace in confidence that, wait a minute, I can, I can ball with these guys. I can ball at this level. And now he's, you're gonna start to see him flourish throughout the season. Williams, no go on that one. And there's your guy, Beal, right there. Good rebound. And he just scored on a nice floating layup on the fast break. Thorn Lee leads 27-21. Here's Telfor up top. Hands off, Beal. Oh, wow. I'll tell you. Alonzo Tan has come on and really played a nice weekend. I'm not sure if the Thornley Thunder knew they were going to get this from him. Look at him there, playing defense as well. He had a lot of those deflections, even against guarding uh, Raythan Mays. And he's actually a package deal with them. Uh, they came together from Alberta. Coach Tan, his father in, Al in Alberta, um, coaches a team from Calgary. And these are guys that are both from the program. It's crazy that you have all the migration, a lot of the kids from East and West Coast coming here to the GTA, realizing the competition level is absolutely unbelievable. The coaches are up here from the States. The coaches are here from the CIS, the CCAA, checking out all these high-level basketball players. And you're seeing, I mean, there's great coaches in every province, and the, the pipeline of coaches is starting to grow. The coaching tree is starting to grow. Um, there are programs all over the country now that, have, that are in position and getting all the exposure they need through the NPA. That way nobody has to leave necessarily to get, you know, to, to get exposure. Yep. Definitely true there. Foul called at the line will be Lofters. 27-24, we got a three-point game. Drew Ebanks alongside Elliot Spiet. And this broadcast, this live stream brought to you by Ill Minds Media. I want to thank Zane Williams for a great job on the stream. We've tweeted it out so everybody can catch the action from wherever you are. Free throws good. It's a four-point game, 28-24. Thorn Lee with the lead. Coming on to the first half, culmination of the first half in a couple minutes. Into the game is Gardner. No good. Look at Gardner. Can't finish that. Done. Oh, my. Done with the beautiful finish 
He's got potential right there to do some damage. I like about Dunn too, his head's on a swivel. Oh my, super sub, he's done it again, Alonzo Tan. Latif, down low, Atui. Older, younger brother of Matthew Atui, wow! Thirty-two twenty-eight. Latif up top. Nice pass. Zip pass. Done. Floater. Oh my goodness. Done. Getting it done. <laughs> Pardon the pun. He, he's really come around in this in this event. I mean, he was almost an unknown. Um, I know. I know. Gus spoke highly of him from before, but this is the first time really getting to see multiple games in a row under him, and he's looking really good. Oh, what a pass! Incredible feed, Latif gets it done. And that was Lofters with the basket. Looks like we got a foul. Done with the foul right there. It's an eight point game, 36-28. Second quarter, we got a minute 55 left. Sub is, subs coming in. Trayvon Blake coming into the game. Sammy Wong, McNeely. Blake up top. Wong. Nice pass, Telfor in the corner. Oh boy, that's beautiful offense right there. This guy Telfor is supremely impressive. And he's, he's proving that he could be effective from the perimeter on a consistent basis. He's shooting about 45% from now from three, and the, which is an incredible three-point percentage at any level. And there you have Brooks. Brooks back with it. And timeout on the floor. They lead. Thorn Lee Thunder have a 38-31 lead. You're watching the live stream broadcast of the 2018 Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Father Henry, Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. We have a nice game going on here. Thorn Lee Prep in black. Taking on Vaughn Prep in gray. Telford, oh my. This guy is impressive right now. 38-34 is your score. Jamil Telford, ladies and gentlemen. These guys, the guys guarding each other right now. This is a good matchup because Brooks has been Brooks has been solid in two games, and there's Dunn. And Dunn, Vaughn has the lead in this one. 41-34, Dunn makes it seven. I 
Wong to the hole, no good. Late call, that's gonna be undone. Wong at the line. Get that one to go. 41-35, the Voyagers with the lead. Nice defense, Telfor on Brooks. Screen comes. Latif, oh nice hezzy move. My goodness, that's a huge move. Wazir Latif with the floater in traffic. We're hearing that name a lot in this game. Yeah, he's come to play now. I think he realizes maybe a missed opportunity in that uh, semifinal. Telfort crossing over, can't get it to go. And that's going to be it. First half comes to a conclusion. Vaughn Voyageurs lead 43. Thornley 35. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for the second half of the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Classic bronze medal game.
Welcome back to the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic, Drew e. Banks, alongside Elias Biet. We are watching, and you are watching, the bronze medal game here. Vaughn Prep with the lead at the half, 43-35. Elias, give me your breakdown. What happened good for the Vaughn Voyageurs, and what do the Thornley Thunder need to do to get right back in the game? I mean, by now it's no secret. Besides that, of course. It's, it's no secret. you got to guard Ryan Brooks. You obviously can't contain him. There's nobody right now that can contain him down low. But the one thing that you can do is at least when he steps out to shoot the three, which he's been making, by the way, you got to contest. And he's had a lot of good looks. Wazir Latif is back in it and, and, and offering more than he has in the previous game. So, I mean, look, here, here perfect example right now. You got a guard guarding him. I'm looking for a back down situation. I, there we go. Feed that mismatch. Get in the post, big man. Can't get it to go. Tipped away. There he is. He got a freebie and faked it. Oh, it looks like a double foul, maybe, but basket's good. Basket count? I don't know who. Basket is good right there. Not sure who got called on anything else. But here we go, it's a 45-38 game, 6.53 left, third quarter. Here's Cassius McNeely stepping out, kicking it outside of Beal. Shot fake, Surendran, pull up three, Cassius McNeely. Big shot. McNeely starting to heat up. If he heats up, he's going to get them back in the game. They are, they're only down four right now. And he, it looks like he's shooting it a lot more confident and without hesitation. He thought about a lot of his other shots when he stepped out on the three-point line. Wow, the physicality of the Gamba right there. Unbelievable. The Gamba taking a strong bouncing tell for back and scoring the layup. You love to see that. That's old school basketball right there. Here's McNeely looking to take over. Can't finish. Here's Latif. Nice pass ahead to Gamba. What a catch. Somehow manages. But the length of Beal with the steal. Beal with the steal. You get that? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and the runner, the floater. Zachary John gets it to go. Four point lead again, 47 43. Oh, the Gamba fakes the shot. Oh, this is a mismatch here. This is food. That's food. I could call that. With my eyes closed, Ryan Brooks on the post. Surrendering, cannot handle him, and he just backs him down, turns, drop step. Prototypical big man move, and makes it. 49-43, the Vaughn Voyageurs have a chance to make it 50 right now with a free throw from Brooks. In and out. Oh, there's the ball. Somebody got to catch it. Here comes Surrendering. Surrendering looked like he took an extra step, but he got lucky. Foul on Brooks. A little bit of chatter right here. Brooks on the foul there for Vaughn. Teams first. Surrendering with the free throws. Oh, and he gets it to go. And he gets the second one, 49-45. We're back to a four-point gap. Swings it on the wing, done. Can't get it to go, but there's Brooks. Johnny on the spot. A lot of traffic. Oh, too hard of a pass. Let that go right through Reggie's hands. N not to be deeply critical, but with Brooks playing so well right now, let's pick at the nitty gritty. And I think the one thing that he could do a little bit better is once guys collapse on him, look for that quick kick out. Because it's on that rotation that your guys are going to get the best looks. So you're still the one who's creating the offense. But you got you to gotta make sure that as soon as the collapse comes, the ball's back out. Right, because there was three men there. And then he was forced to do it at the end. And then he, the pass was so hard, it went right through Reggie's hand. Precisely. Out of bounds, back to Thorn Lee. 
And here's our sub coming in, Alonzo Tan. Surendran takes a seat. 47-45, it's a two-point game. 4.49 left third quarter. Drew Banks here alongside Elias Biet. This live stream brought to you by Ill Minds Media. Make sure you check out their YouTube page. We got one more game coming up after this. It will be the championship game between Orangeville Prep and Henry Carr. Thorn Lee working the offense. Nice step up. I'll tell you, this kid, young man, Tad, has got a lot of game out there. He's showing that he can ball and he can play amongst the trees as well. He's smart. He realizes that he's smaller than most, but he utilizes it to his advantage. He's speedy. He plays low to the ground. I like him. He's efficient. Seems very smart as well. Very heady out there. Ryan Brooks with another basket. He's just eating up the inside. They lead 49-47. Beal with the long shot. Long three. No good. Spencer Gomez with the rebound in the corner. Brooks fakes the three. Fakes the drive. Shoots it up. Telfor with the rebound. Telfor with the shot fake. Kicks it. And there he is, the lights out shooter, Ziffion Grant. Ziffion Grant gives Thorn Lee their lead, 50 to 49. He's a solid shooter from the outside. Jamil Telfor with another board. This kid's gonna average a double-double on the year. Beal can't get that shot to go. It rattles in and out. Latif, oh, gotta be under control. Here is McNeely. Grant, another one. Short this time. He checked. Subs coming in. Surendran, Tan, Wong. And for Vaughn, Dawkins coming in. Lofters as well. Up top. No good for Spencer Gomez. Thornley with the rebound. They push it up. Nice defense right there. Tan kicks it up top. Off the foot of Telfor. Fifty to forty-nine. Thor Lee with the lead. Spencer Gomes, nice shot. Six-five guard, twenty nineteen class. Big shot right there. It seems like Vaughn has a lot of guys on the perimeter that can be three-point options but they haven't all clicked at the same time or in the same game. That's what would make them the most dangerous. Williams with the steal, we can't bear it, and there he is! The human pogo stick, Calvin C.J. Lofters. He had about five dunks on Thursday night in, in day one. Vertical, he can go right up and dunk it. Nice pass on the cutting Surendran. Looks like some contact, a lot of contact down low. Rolls on, and there's a tip in. Telfor, so easy. My question for Vaughn is, who's watching Telfor on the shot? Who's boxing out there? Simply, fundamentally, you gotta put a body on him. He's gonna get in there and fight his way. Just a, I like how his attitude is. He doesn't get excited, he doesn't get, he does not pump in fists. He plays like he's done it before. He's just trying to get a W. No, sh you know, histrionics, no showboating. Just score the bucket and get it done on offense and defense. I think uh, Thornley has a great squad right here. They're gonna be, they're gonna be problems going down this season. Look at him talking right there. Oh, Reggie, nice play. Oh, turned it over. A buck 33 left. 54-52. Vaughn with the two-point lead. Here's Tan. Out of bounds, but it say they say it's off of the Vaughn Voyageurs. Still Thorn Lee basketball. 
Hail Minds Media brings you this live stream. And we're glad you guys can be here to check out all the action of this high level basketball tournament. Surrendering on a kick out. In and out for Grant. Here comes Williams. Oh, nice feed. Done. He's got to get ready to take that. Spencer Gomez. Big shot. He's hit another one. He's come out of nowhere to be a real factor. Even a bigger factor than some of the other Vaughn Voyagers. And you mentioned the extra pass from Dunn. I think that's one thing that they can hold their hat on is Vaughn is looking to get rid of the good shots and get the best shots. They've done that so far here in the third quarter. They find themselves up five points. I know it's a small margin, but if they can keep getting those type of possessions, that's how you're going to build momentum and build larger leads. And that foul was on Lofter as he had the block. He thought he was all ball on Telfort. Telfort at the line, shooting two. Cuts the lead, the Vaughn lead to four, 57-53. Tell four for one more. Here he goes. Oh, can't get the second one to go. Here's Reggie. Are they saying it was tipped out of bounds? And the referees say it wasn't tipped. It goes back to Thorn Lee. 50.5 seconds left, 57-53 for the Voyagers. Surrendering to the hole, and he gets fouled. Let's see who this one's on, I couldn't see. That one's on Lofters. I like how Surendran's being pretty aggressive this tournament. He's got a lot of length and size as well. Uh, who do you, who, who's got a gauge on him right now at the next level? I'm not up to, too up to date with his recruitment, um, but I do see him at least, at least, at least high level U sports. Um, I think he will, I, I think he'll get a ton of interest at the NCAA level as well. Um, but his current skill set and his body suggests that, you know, Probably more suited for high-level U sports. We have the breakdown. Oh, he's turning and catching. No good for that one. Tan with the rebound. The spark plug off the bench. Oh, turnover. Here's Reggie. No good on Williams. Back to Tan. Look at that. Oh, wow. Can't get. Oh, as we say, surrendering off the glass. Oh, oh. scratch that. Scratch everything I just said. No, I'm joking. Good play by Surendran. Following up. Lofters can't get it to go. And just like that, it's a tie basketball game. 57-57 after three quarters. Stay tuned. This is the 2018 Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. We'll be right back very shortly.
the action is intense all weekend long. This started Thursday. It is now Saturday, November 3rd. The bronze medal game tied after three quarters, but Cassius McNeely breaks the tie for the Thorn Lee Thunder. It gives them the 59-57 lead. Next up, Orangeville Prep taking on the hosts, Father Henry Carr. Here we go, Tan. He's been a, a nice player for them today. He's getting extended minutes as well. Coach rewarding him. Beal right to the hoop. Oh my. And one. So long. Nice play right there to the hoop. And one. Chance to make the traditional three-point play. I'm telling you, what we what we've seen from Thao so far is absolutely nothing. The once he gets really confident in playing against this competition, again, he's new to he's new to this level of competition. He's coming from Alberta. He needs to to get more reps in at this level, to get a comfort level, to know that hey, I'm one of the best in this league, and I can ball. Brooks, shaky bakey, and gets it to go. <laughs> Brooks cuts the lead to one. Thorn Lee 61, Vaughn 60. Cassius fakes the pass, throws it up, no good. Here's Latif, Latif with the rebound, back to Brooks. Point forward, Brooks right to the hoop, kicks it, Latif. Done. Latif up top for three, no good. Look at Dunn, fighting for it. Brooks wants the three again. Oh. They're late. I think they're going into well a little too often right now. We'd like to see Ryan Brooks get on the inside. Surrendering on a pull-up. Big shot. 63-60. Oh, nice steal. Here is Tan Beal in the corner. And they spread it out. Set up the offense. Here is McNeely. To Tan. Tan with the pull up three, no good. Rebound Brooks. Latif, Latif has it. Spencer Gomez. Here's Latif turning the corner. Spencer Gomez comes off the screen and buries another three. This is the breakout performance, Spencer Gomez. And he has four triples in the game so far. Keep feeding the hot hand. Hey, he's setting up. He's getting there on time. Point guys just got to make sure to look for him. Oh, my goodness. McNeely and, and Dunn looks like he hurt his left wrist on the fall. He's flexing. Cassius McNeely starting to heat up right now. Thorn Lee leads 65-63. Down low, Brooks. Brooks right to the hole, can't get it to go, but he's going to the line, shooting two. Follows on Telfor. Ryan Brooks shooting free throws. Brooks misses the first. Let's see what he does on the second. No good. Oh, look at that. The Gamba inside. The Gamba. Beal. And here's John with it. Zachary John back in the game. Telfort. Step back. Wow, that's big. I mean, that right there. That right there is a move that you'll see at the pro levels. And Jamil Telford does it like with ease. Vaughn swinging it around the horn. They trail by five right now. Brooks bailing out. He's bailing out for threes right now. 
He's got to get back inside to his bread and butter and do damage in the paint. No, I couldn't agree with you more, man. He's got to, he's got to, they got to isolate him a little bit, get him a couple of touches, get him back in rhythm, and then maybe start to go back out. Is it fatigue? Oh, my. And guess who's heating up right now? Cassius McNeely heating up, heating up, heating up. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor called by Devon Voyageurs. They trail 70-63. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back at the 2018 Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. Welcome back to the action, Drew Banks, alongside Elias Biet, 69-63, the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic, the bronze medal game. The Thornley Thunder have come back to take control. Big block by Serendrin. Kicks it, Latif in the corner. Oh my, I'm telling you, Spencer Gomez is having himself a ball game. And not only that, he's putting himself on the map today. Fifth triple of the game, keep feeding him. He's heating up. He's already hot. Surendran back up top. Telfor. Wong, nice play. And a cut by Beal. Oh, nice play there, almost a steal by Latif. John can't get it to go. Here's Latif, they needed that stop right there. It's only a four point game. Quick shot though, I don't know if you need that. Heat check again, Spencer Gomez. And this gym is starting to fill up in anticipation of the home team. Father Henry Carr taking on the powerhouse Orangeville prep team in the championship game. There's Telfor, nice catch, oh my. I mean, so impressive. He scores with ease, he's got a, he's got a veteran's game. It's just unbelievable. Spencer Gomez, he actually shot, took a shot inside the three-point arc. <laughs> I like the stop and pop, man. He, he saw that he didn't have the three initially, took a few dribbles in, got a clean look out of it too. Just unfortunate, bounced off the back of the rim. All right, we got a close one here. It's a six-point game. Wong on the wing. Kicks back out to Telford, fakes the shot. Beal well, has to shoot it quick, no good. Nice box out by Williams. Reggie, that's a little intangibles there on the box out. Latif up top, Brooks. Brooks got to get inside. Reggie, a kick out. Latif, nice shot. Latif, B! 
big three. 71-68. That was a nice play. Reggie Williams to Wazir Latif. Swings back. Surrendering wants the three. Oh my. That's huge. 74-68 is your score after that three. 140 left. Fourth quarter. Thorn Lee clinging to a six-point lead. Some big time performances. Surrendering stepping up. McNeely stepping up. Telfor is just a monster out there. Uh -huh. Whoever taught him how to play the game of basketball, they got to get kudos because Telfort is one of the best prospects here this weekend. Telfort's been awesome and consistent in all of their games. Although Cassius has had a, a pretty solid second half, he's playing with a stone cold look in his face and he's making shots. He, man, I, I want to see Cassius be the Cassius we saw you know, in, in ninth grade when everyone thought- A couple years was, ago. Yeah, everyone thought he was the next prodigy. Um, there's some games where he looks a little lackadaisical, just not fully engaged, but we all know that this is an NBA potential prospect. And I want to see that game in, game out. Great points right there. Elias Biet with the breakdown. We're going to take a quick break. This is the 2018 Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. Stay tuned for the end and the culmination of the bronze medal game. Welcome back. We're almost at the end of the bronze game. The Thorn Lee Thunder have a six point lead, 74 68. For third place, bragging rights. Surrendering up top here is McNeely. Rocking those curry fives. No good. Oh, but there's Surrendering. He's had himself quite a game. Abelash Surrendering. 6'6", six, six. guard, he's a junior. Impressive around the basket, you gotta box him out. Here we go, Latif, McNeely. A nice roll there, looking for the dive by Brooks. Kick ball, 15 seconds left on the shot clock. 76-68. Up top, Latif. Oh, in and out, they wanted that. Beal with the rebound, uh-oh, uh-oh, here it goes, that's a big one! And that might be the clincher, it's a 10-point lead. Beal with the shot, Reggie needs that. Oh, in and out, Brooks, big rebound. Oh, Brooks. Uh, 78-68. Surrendering with the foul, flagrant foul. 
Sarendran call for the flagrant. I don't know if I saw anything flagrant to me. No, he grabbed him by the shoulders. There was no play on the ball on that. And look, let's be real here. Ryan Brooks has had a phenomenal, phenomenal tournament. Great start to the season. Does he look like the type of guy you want to start a fight with? I don't think so. He's a beefy dude. Surrendering's probably this dude's. This weight. dude's got like 80 pounds on Surrendering. You don't want. You don't want a problem but, with him. But Surrendering was smart. He did the foul, and he turned. He quickly said, "I'm getting out of this. Uh, this paint right here." I really like the way Brooks is looking this season, man. Yeah. They're gonna clean the floors right now. A little condensation after that fall by Brooks. The gym is packed. Everybody's waiting for the final. But we still have to finish off the bronze medal game. It's an eight-point lead. The Bond Voyager is trying to get something done. And look at referee Clifton. Not only a referee, but he's also the floor cleaner. Right in front of the Jordan brand, class of 33, FHC banner. <laughs> Gotta love it. Not sure if that's unionized pay right there, but... He's looking for a little overtime. 78-70, 24.7 seconds left. This is the bronze medal game. One more big one coming up. It's been a great week, end of the week, for the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. Drew Banks alongside Elias Spiet. OnPointBasketball.com and NorthPoleHoops.com. Let's see what the Voyagers can do. We just saw Zhao Beal, really young player, sophomore, throw down a big dunk. Here comes the Voyagers. They need something quick. Oh, they got lucky on that shot. Pull up. Oh, nice shot. Dawkins to, gets it to go. He's got the two different pairs of Kyrie's on today. Foul called. A two-way with the foul. It's still going to be Thorn Lee basketball. Surrender it on the inbounds. Tell for. That's close to an offensive foul there. Neck to the throat. The ref didn't call it. Called the foul on Reggie Williams. Inbounds. That goes to John. He's going to go to the line shooting a bonus. 78-72. Fifth foul, it's going to be bonus for the Vaughn Voyagers. I mean, sorry for the Thornley Thunder. John at the line. First one's good. Here we go. Missed one, missed the second one. Oh, what a drive. Nice play right there. Gotta love it. Archie Dawkins, but a foul called. 79-74. 10, 9.9 seconds left. The bronze medal game. Coach Charles has a little meeting going on right here with his squad as Abelash Surendran is on the line. First one is good. Surrendered makes the second one. Yeah. 
Latif in and out, no good. And that's gonna wrap it up. The bronze medal winners, Thornley Thunder. They take it 81-74 over the Vaughn Voyagers. Stay tuned, we'll try to get a quick interview. We'll see if we can get Mr. Telfort and speak to him a little bit about his game because he just did it all. Stay tuned. We'll be back in about 30 seconds. Thanks a lot. The bronze medal is complete. The winner is the Thornley Thunder. We got a couple guys that here for Thornley. Elias, you started off. Sure thing, man. I, I wanted to first, you guys went deep into this tournament. Bronze medal, something to go home with and something something to look look back on and, and, and learn from. Playing without Keyshawn, where was the energy coming from? Who did you guys look at for leadership? Salvio. Our bench really helped us out. Like, just help us uh, know what to do on the floor. Especially not having Keyshawn, we just put everything together. And of course, Jamil. Yeah, yeah. as he said, the bench really helped help us out. Um, Zach and Alonzo, they, they gave us some big minutes. So yeah, I think we'll be good. When Keyshawn's come back, yeah, we'll be good. This tournament is a high level tournament. Did you guys feel the energy? I mean, even the game before you guys fell, but your fans were in the building cheering you guys on. How good does it feel to have fans in the GTA for you guys who are not from uh, Toronto and of course on the stream watching you guys and pulling for both of your, your you guys and your teammates? It feels really good, really good. Like they, they're there for almost every game. So yeah, they're great, they're cheerful, they're loud. So yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, having a fancy it just makes us play even harder and harder. It just adds excitement to the game for us. And Thal, tell me a little bit about your progress coming into coming into Ontario and kind of transitioning. Obviously, the level of play here significantly higher uh, than, than Alberta. But has the transition fully come in, or are you still gaining confidence in in that game against Orangeville, for example? Just realizing that, wait a minute. I can play with these guys. I am on this level. Uh, well, coming here from Calgary is like, the basketball in Calgary is really different. When I came here, I was like, it was like, my game was really different. It was like lower than all the other guys. And then now I'm starting to catch up with all the bigger boys. Jamil, your game, I mean, I commented on the stream. You have it all. I mean, you play like a vet. Uh, you have the inside game, you have the outside game. But most of all, I love your demeanor. The fact that you act like you've done it a million times. You're not up there flexing. You're not up there trying to mock your opponent. You're just a, a, a guy that's about business. Isn't that it? Yeah. Um, as my coach in Montreal said, Nelson, he always told me to be humble. Always be humble. Like, don't get in that extra stuff that if you're doing good, you got to act like, oh, you're the man. No, you just told me to be humble and everything's going to come for you. Man, two amazing guys here. You got anything to add, E? Two amazing guys here. Jamil Telfort, Theo, uh, stop. <laughs> you know your name anyways, yeah. Great to see you guys. Well done. Keep it going. You'll go. I know you guys are going to bounce back. Yeah. All right? Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.